give you glory Oh, we say worthy is the Lamb Worthy, worthy is the Lamb Who was slain to receive glory Honor and praise Hallelujah Oh, yes worshiping God. He says in his presence there is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. And his right hands are pleasures forevermore. We are still in the mood of worship. Let us begin to worship God. Begin to call him sweet names. For he is faithful. He is the I am that I am. The eternal king of glory. The incomprehensible God. Lord we thank you. Wonderful, merciful Savior, precious Redeemer and friend, who would have thought that a lamb could rescue the souls of men? Oh, you rescue the souls of men. Oh. Wonderful, merciful, wonderful, merciful, Savior, precious, precious Redeemer and friend, say, who would have thought that
of praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Is there a living soul in this house? Woo. I can't hear a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! We serve a wonder God. We serve a marvelous God. Yeah. Give him praise with your dance. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Now move your body. Never see this kind of God before. Wonder, 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 wonder. Ha, ha. Yeah. I never see this kind of God before. Wonder, 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 wonder. The things when you do for me, oh, 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 nobody can do. Oh, oh, oh. The miracles you bring my way, oh, 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 oh. even on my mind, though. And it do my way. Nothing can break through you. Got me all oh, see you a wonder in my life. The things that you do for me, oh, 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 nobody oh, can do. The miracles you bring my way, oh, 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 it is all my door. It is to my rain. Nothing can break through you. Got me all oh, see you a wonder. I've never seen this kind of before. Wonder, 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 wonder. Cabio, see, Cabio, see, Baba, Cabio, see, Cabio, see, Baba, Cabio, see, Cabio, see, 
Agama para aleluya Bless your holy name. Bless your holy name. I've never seen any God like you. I've never seen any God like you. I've never seen no. 
I've never seen I've never seen any God like you The prophets can never be like you The pastors can never be like you Presidents can never be like you Even my parents can never be like you I've never seen oh I've never seen I've never seen oh I've never seen you are dependable reliable unmovable unshakable powerful God is your name who can do the things you do you raise the dead the sick, you made the barren to be fruitful. I never see, I never see, I never see, I never see. In heaven, you are the master, on earth, you are the hero. Everywhere, we talk about Jesus. Everywhere we talk about Jesus In your life we talk about Jesus In my family we talk about Jesus Even in this room yeah we talk about Jesus Can you declare everywhere we talk about Jesus Now listen ah now you the show up for my matter now you they show up for my matter. Hey. Now you they show up for my matter. Now you they show up, Jesus. Now you they show up. Now you they show up for my matter. Hey, now you they show up. Everywhere I go, you show up, Jesus. When it concerns me, you make a way. Now you they show up for my matter. Show up, oh. Now you show up for my matter. Hey, yeah. Now you show up for my matter. That's why I've never seen. 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 No, I've never seen. I've searched high and I've searched low. I've looked all over the world. Nobody like Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody like Jesus. Thank you, most Nobody like Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Somebody worship me this morning. Give me the glory. Now you the show up. Give me the glory, give me the honor. The song says that He will show up for our issues. He's the man God. He's the ancient of days. The sovereign God that I am, that I am. Somebody worship in this morning. Give me the glory. Hello, Shabra. I'm not hearing your voice this morning. Have you come to see any man? Open your mouth this morning. Worship Him. Give me the glory. Give me the honor. Give me the adoration. He's the Prince of Peace. Shabrakades, Kalamo, Brigade Bosheba, Reka Supregades, Kalamo, Shia and the brother, Rebecca Skuda. Somebody, I'm not hearing your voice this morning. Give God the glory this morning. Give Him the honor. Thank you for His love, for His power, for His protection, for Your love. He gave you health. He gave you the job you are doing. Give Him the glory this morning. We bless you this morning, the awesome God. We worship you the strength of days. We magnify you the Prince of Peace. Adonai is your name, the awesome God. Thank you, Kalamo Shabra in the Kalamo Bride. Rebaske Nabo Shabra in the Skitia Namoskia. Ebregade Gabo Shanabana, Malekadoskia. Rebregade Skapamoshia, Ebregadia. Malekade Brigade Boshabra in the Kosukutua. Rebakana Supregadesha, Ebregada. Rebakana Boshukutua. Ebregade Koros Kopri and the Anabosha. Zeke de Gedebrea. You are a consuming fire. When a prince of Elohim, we wash you this morning. Galabosha. 
you the awesome God. Thank you the Prince of Peace. Thank you for your mercy. Your mercy endures forever. It's by your compassion we are not covered. Thank you, O oh God, for the life, for the strength that we give the glory. Thank you, O oh God, that many are in the hospital. Many are in one issue or the other. But look at us, O oh God, abiding in strength, abiding in health, abiding in confidence and power. Now you the show up for our matter. Thank you, the awesome God. Thank you, the Prince of Peace. Thank you, the Elohim. You are one of our praise. You are one of our praise. Shaka na brada skopa la boshia. Somebody has gone at the Holy Spirit this morning. Whatever that, that would deprive you of His manifest this morning, asking for mercy, asking for mercy. The Bible that mercy rejoices against judgment. Whatever that will hindrance to the move of God in your, in your life this morning, at the Holy Ghost, He said, "Create in me a clean heart." Say, renew the right spirit within me. Cast not away thy Holy Spirit. At the Holy Ghost this morning, let there be an intimacy that whatever that will be shared this morning will never pass you by. Lastly, asking to have his way. <laughs> asking to have his way. The Bible said in Acts 1 verse 8, I yet shall receive power when the Holy Ghost shall come upon you and you shall be a witness. If the Holy Ghost will upon you this, this morning, you'll be a witness. Somebody ask him to manifest his power. A song said that we need more of him. More of his grace. More of his power. Ask him more, more, more. Hunger. Ask him, impact me your hunger. Impact me your grace. Impact me your hunger. Shaka tabalos kobria. Rebekas kombalabosha da enda brada. Rebaka no siyaba. Ekoros kia bragadesha. Him only you have come to see. Not a man. He only can solve that, that issue. He said, with God, all things are possible. Do you believe that? This morning, ask him, Holy Ghost, strengthen me this morning. Let your power come. Let your grace come. Let it be intimacy. Open your mouth. Ask him, manifest his power. Manifest his power. Jeke de brega de boskia malamu predeka malago shipra endas kapalaba rebaske la boshera embreda bale koro somebody speaking tongues jeke de brega speaking on tongue kalaba babu say when you speak in tongues you speak to god direct open your mouth this morning open your mouth he said if you open your mouth he will fill it with his word open your mouth this morning that the holy ghost will fill your word jeke de brega male gabro sia ma embreda jeke de brega skopa la boskia rebaka bosha mana mobre Rebecca Supra and the Scapada, and Rebecca de Jacada Brava, Macuria, Zecapada Sketiaba, Ekanas Copria, Manosha, Socotos Tiabra, Rebecca Scomanamosha, have your way, Calamosia, Embra, Rebecca Lesia, Socotos Tiabra and Nascapalaba, Malebredes Combala Embra, Shekedos Kia Embra, Calamos Cobria, Ea Combala Boschia Embra. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I will give you the glory this morning. Now you the show of our matter, oh God. Yeah. You are the God that died. The Bible says in third day you rose again. You are ever living father. You are the ever living savior. Thank you because of this morning for the life, for the strength. Thank you, oh God, for having us in mind. The Bible said that Christ was the end of the law. Thank you, oh God, for putting us far above every powers and principality and making us to sit with you to reign as a king and priest on the earth. We give you the glory this morning. Holy Spirit, have your way. Amen. Have your way this morning. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. Clap, clap, Amen. clap, clap, clap. Clap, 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 clap. We clap, can clap, do clap. more than that. We can do more than that. Hallelujah. We are welcome to church this morning. I just want you with a wave, welcome somebody by your side. Tell him, oh, how you are welcome in Jesus' name. You can add a smile to that as you wave to the person. Hallelujah. We'll be taking our tithe and our offering. So the tithe will come first, then we take our offering. Amen. Amen. Choir, please. Come on, somebody, lift your hands this morning as we give God praise. Hallelujah.
Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you for your goodness upon our life. We thank you for all your provision. Even as we bring this to you, we pray may it be accepted and be used to the glory of your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. So shout it better, amen. We want to call in the children for their presentation, please. Thank you, choir. I wish I can live my life on my own as some of my friends do. My parents are too shitting. They dictate everything I do. All manners of rules and instructions that must be obeyed. They tell me what to do, where to go and where not to go, what to eat and what not to eat. In fact, kinds of friends to have. My mom will even want to mall using my iPad. I wish they could just let me be. Elizabeth, what's up, girl? Why are you talking alone? Talk to me, Elizabeth. I'm your friend. Come to the chair, let's talk. Speak, Elizabeth. I'm just having the kind of what my parents created for me. Their control is too much for me, especially my mom. Can you imagine? My mom is always comparing this period of time to the time she was born. All sorts of instructions that don't fit in this technology. You're so lucky your parents are not like mine. You bring your phone to school apart from the iPad that we use for schoolwork. Although I know it's against the school rules, but I need to do as some of you do. My mom said that should always be a school instruction that a child of God must obey authorities. Really? 
Though my parental lacked too, they even used the Bible to teach me. They taught me where to go and where to go. My mom even told me not to bring my phone to school. Really? How do you get things done the way you do them? <laughs> You're not smart at all. I don't want to say everything, but I, do, I simply go ahead and do this the way I want them to do. But that is disobedience. Who cares? As long as I do anything I want to do. Hello, girls. You seem serious with your discussion. Can I be a part of it? Hey, hey Willie, really? how do you do? I do good. Now tell me what the problem is. Well, Elizabeth needs a freedom. I told her the way to do it, but she had disobedience. If I got you right, Elizabeth is tired of her parents who are guiding her. They won't allow her to do things freely the way she wants. Yeah, but as for me, I can't copy those instructions. So I found a way out for myself. Okay, I got it. You see, I am passing through the same. My dad even likes yelling at me. So at the time, I decided to disobey them. I would do whatever I want whenever they're not around and visit my friends at the time I'm supposed to be studying. I was so sick and tired of my mom's instructions like telling me what kinds of videos to watch on YouTube. She even went to the extent of uninstalling YouTube from my iPad and installing kids YouTube. Very boring. Then later, I discovered that my performing at school was becoming poor. I even practiced some of the bad things I saw at my friend's place, and I didn't like myself against as I was becoming a bad child. So I told Miss Kathleen, our teacher, about it. She said that no matter how hard, inconvenient, or discomforting it may be, they're doing be because they love us and want the best for us. She even read Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 to 3, and it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with the promise, for it may be well with you, and your day shall be long on earth. She said if your parents could buy you good clothes, shoes, and an iPad, and even take you out for wonderful treats, it means they know what's best for you, so we have to obey. So since that day till now, I decided to obey my parents, no matter what it costs me. Wow, that is great. I need to make my mind to, to obey my parents so I can have a great future I desire. Joy, I think you need to have a rethink too. We shouldn't just trade our future for just pleasures of today that won't last for long. Yeah, you're right. I just stop my bad ways and never my parents' instruction. Thank you, Willie, for this enlightenment. You're welcome. Now I should get going. Bye, Willie. See you later. Bye. Bye Joy, we should get going too. Obedient children we shall be. Yes, a great future awaits. Praise the Lord. They want to give us memory verses. Good morning. My name is Daniel and I'm going to be reciting my memory verse. It's from Proverbs 22 verse 6. It says, 
Um, train up your child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. Hi, my name is Peno, and I'm going to be reciting my memory verse. Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. I indeed baptize with water unto repentance, but who cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear. You shall baptize with Holy Ghost and fire. Hi, my name is Carissa, Daniel 1 verse 8. But Daniel was determined not to defile himself by not eating the food and wine given to him by the king. He asked the chef of staff for permission not to eat this unacceptable food. Good morning. Good morning, Saz and Raz and David. And this is my memory verse, John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Good morning, Saz and Maz. Good morning, Saz and Maz. My name is Samuel Ajani, and this is my memory verse. It's from Colossians chapter 3, verse 20. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well pleasing unto the Lord. And Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Genesis chapter 27, verse 8. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. First Corinthians 57. That brings me to God, which has given us victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Everywhere, let us grace I receive 
daily, daily. I know Jesus is taking care of me. New mercies every morning. They load me with benefits, benefit child. You treat me like a holy child in the world. I know Jesus is taking care of me. I'm here to testify. Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus is looking after me. Jesus is watching over me. I'm shining because. Jesus is taking care of me. Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus is looking after me. Jesus is watching over me. I'm shining because Jesus is taking care of me. Favor all around. Jesus is taking care of me. Everything is working out for my good. Jesus is taking care of me. But my heart is oh, Jesus is taking care of me. Let us praise. I receive daily, daily. I know Jesus is taking care of me. If we're putting those hands together, we can do better than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, now let's put our hands together for Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, this morning, the choir wants to bless the name of the Lord. What we're going to do, it, we're going to do it in the Caribbean style. And you won't do it sitting down. Amen. So please, gents and ladies, can we be on our feet? Even as we praise the Lord together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, somebody, if you know it is so, I want you to say it is so. It is so. Come on, say it is so. It is so. Hallelujah. Come on. Now your hands like this. Amen, 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 amen. It is so. It is so. Amen, amen. Amen, 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 amen. It's so simple. It is That's so. All. It is so. Oh, amen, amen. Amen, amen. It is so. Amen, amen. Amen, 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 amen. It is so. It is so. Yes, He has saved us. Amen. He has redeemed us. Amen. He will heal us. Amen. When we call. Amen. And when affliction. Amen. Come on, the righteous. Amen. He will deliver us out of them all. Amen, 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 amen. Come on, somebody. It let me is so. It is so. We say. Yes, and amen. Every promises of God is for real. Yes, and amen. It is 
so. It is so. It is so. It is so. Yes, and amen. You're faithful and true. Yes, and amen. All the glory belongs to your Lord. Yes, and amen. Oh, it is so. It is so. Amen, 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 amen. It is so. It is so. We say. So, Somebody shout woo! in the house this morning. Come on, we'll go again. Let me hear you sound of your hands. come to hear yes, from you Lord yes, yes. I'm only a vessel use me just a word can change life just a word can turn that situation around 
I had myself behind the cross of Calvary. Let no man see me. But let them see Jesus crucified on the cross of Calvary. I dip myself into the blood of Jesus and I make myself available for use. Thank you because I know at the end of this 30 minutes or less, we will be, glor- will be blessed. In Jesus' precious name, we've prayed. Amen. Amen. Please, a, hand, a round of applause for the best choir in the whole world. If you are angry, please feel free to be angry. They are the best choir in the whole world. If you are watching us from Facebook, from any part of the world, online, this is the best choir in the whole world. If you are interested, you can come and join us. But before you do that, you have to feel some form, pass through a lot of processes. Then our pastor will now approve before you can now be confirmed. Hallelujah. God bless you, choir, in Jesus' name. Thank you for the instrumentalists as well. You are doing a marvelous job. Uh, before I continue, because there's no time, I just want to use this opportunity to appreciate the authority of the church, the man of God, and our mommy in the house. I don't take this for granted, this opportunity. May the Lord keep and I'm um, blessing you and your ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Please bear with me. I'm going to be very fast. Very, very fast. So the other visual, you help me with the little scriptures that I'm going to be sharing. If you have your Bible and your scripture, I want you to turn to Job chapter 1. We're going to be doing 1 to 22, but we'll be skipping some because of our time. And um, basically, the topic that we'll be handling today is heaven. Staying on the undistracted. Heaven. Staying undistracted. I know everybody can hear me very well. If you have your Bible, please. Let's look at Job chapter 1 verse 22. Job chapter 1 verse 22. Can we get the first verse? Can we get the first verse? Are you there? Okay. Job chapter 1. Let's take from 1. Says there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. That man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil. Please, for every verse I will be uh, reading, either you see distracted or non on or, or undistracted. In that verse one, Job was not distracted. Is that correct? Hello, is that correct? In verse two, was he still? undistracted. Verse 2 says, and there was born unto him seven sons and three daughters. Things were still going on well. He was still undistracted. Can you get that? Yeah. Three. If you look at verse 3, he said he had 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camel, 500 yoke of oxen, and a great household. Was he still distracted or undistracted? Hello? Follow me, please. I want to make sure, I want to ensure that you are reading your Bible, please. Make sure you are on that scripture. Four, say he had a household full with fun fair. There was celebration. He, there was still, he was still not distracted. Five, says he was never carried away by lavish lifestyle. When the children are involved in celebration or what not, watch very closely the last, the last um, paragraph of that five. He said he will always come back to intercede for them. For intercede, in case they may have celebrated excessively and sinned against God. He was still undistracted. Praise the Lord. Take note that, that number five. I so much love that number five. In the midst of all the temporaries, celebration, partying, he still controlled himself. There was self-restraint. He still went back and interceded for them. But eventually there was a way they may have offended God in the course of celebrating. Six says, God, now, something happened. God, in that verse, God suddenly allowed distraction. If you read that verse six, can we go get that verse six? On that verses on the visual from my Bible here it says now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came among them distraction has come in hello that was the beginning of the distraction seven if you look at seven if you look at eight it says now in that verse eight God allowed this distraction to come see sometimes distractions can come it may come from God. God can allow it to test us. To know how strong we are. As we are going further, you will get the clearer picture. 9, 10, and 11. Satan was busy. Trying to prove to God. That the reason why your son, Job, was faithful. Is because he is blessed. He had everything running for him. I always tell Christians. Until you get to a point where you tell yourself whether God blesses me or not, I will serve him. You've not started. 
Hello. Well, we're, we're, we're going to go deeper. But I want to take note of those verses. If you read that 9, 10, 11, you see how devil was making all effort to prove to God that the reason why your servant is faithful is because he had everything running for him. He had a good job, good salary, good house, a good car, children, a beautiful wife, and so many other things. That just remove something and he will, be he, he, he will lose the focus that you think he has. Now, in verse 12, if you read that verse 12, God did something. He allowed. You know, this God sometimes, he knows how to handle things. That's why the more you think you know God, the more you know you don't know him. God is not a one-way traffic God. When you think he's moving towards you, he might decide to change because he is God. And you can't question him. Praise God. He allowed the devil to have his way in verse 12. Look at that verse 12. Can we read that verse 12? It says, And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he had in thy power, only upon himself, put not forth thy hand. There was a permission. He permitted distraction. Praise the Lord. And if you read, if you take your time, when you get home, read 13 and 19. Distraction came in. Many things that he had already were taken from him. If you know what it is to lose a child, man, if you know what it is to lose a child, I've been in a position where I experienced it and man, it's not easy. It can shake your feet. Praise God. Job lost everything. But coming to this message of today, let's look at 20 and 22. Can we read that place together? Time, cannot, can, time, will, time will not stop us from reading that place. We're going to read that place straight together. Or you can read it on yourself, on your own. Verse 20 says, Then Job arose. Or can you read together? Can we, I want to make sure you are being carried along. I don't want to see anybody sleeping. Please don't sleep. 22, even if you are reading from a different version, just, just read. Want to go. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground. And did what? Hi, Jesus. In the midst of everything, he still washed it. Thanksgiving today is Thanksgiving. Some people walked into that door with the worries from their home. Some people, as they were walking in, the problem of no visa, the problem of no job, the problem of no money, no food, the problem of different kind of came in here with them. But by the power in the mighty name of Jesus, I join my faith with the ministers under, under this roof and I decree those negativity that have come in with you, they are flushed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. 21. Can we read together 2021? 20, and said, Naked came I out of the mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord had taken. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Take note of that number 22. Please read it very slowly. The 22. Can we go? And in all this, I say take it slowly. And in all in some things, and in all this, Job sin not and ought not charge God foolishly. What is distraction? Distraction is anything that prevents you from giving attention to what is in front of you or from what you want to achieve. Design is designed, uh, distraction is designed to make you stagnant, to make you unproductive. When you walked into this country, you had a mission, you had a goal. Ask yourself this question. How far? Hello? Ask yourself how far? You walked into this country with a mission. How far? Distraction. Some people came into this country hot from where their country. They were serious believers from their country. They made promises like, Lord, if you can bring me here, I will remain steadfast. My question is, how far? What is heaven? Because we're talking about heaven. Staying undistracted. Heaven is the invisible realm of God. We are looking at this from the context of this lesson. Not the theological lesson, uh, uh, context. Heaven is the invisible realm, realm of God. The supernatural realm of God. God's dwelling place where everything conforms to God's order or will. A place prepared for the redeemed of the Lord. Praise the Lord. When you look at John chapter 14, from 1 to 2, so the Lord says, I go to prepare a place for you. If it were not so, I would not, I would, I would not have told you. There is heaven. Heaven is real. 
Now, we are all running. The reason why we are here is to enable us to make heaven. Hello? Is to enable, love, enable each and every one of us to make heaven. Now, the question is, how far have you been going towards ensuring you make heaven? See, heaven is real. Hell is real. Let's assume you don't believe heaven is real, hell is real. But understand, and I know you know that death is real. Let me give you the benefit. Say, yes, you believe there's no heaven, there's no hell. But you cannot disbelieve the fact that there is death. This can come knocking right now. But thank God for the scripture in the book of Psalm chapter 91 verse 16. It says, with long life, he will do what? Satisfy us and show us his salvation. None of us will die, die prematurely in the mighty name of Jesus. Anybody hearing the sound of my voice, I decree and I declare, none of us here will die prematurely in the mighty name of Jesus. But understand that death is real. And when you have this understanding, you will get serious with God. You walked into this country, your pastor is not here, he doesn't know your whereabouts, doesn't know how you move, he doesn't know how you drink, how you eat. And then suddenly, because of the influences of negative guys around you, you start misbehaving. Each time I'm coming back from work, I wish there's a way I can av avoid that route. But if I think of avoiding that route, it means me taking another 15 minutes. There's a particular route. Anytime I'm passing through that route, Lulu, this Lulu Street, I see a lot of, a lot of un unpleasant things, sights. I see a lot of my brothers and sisters misrepresenting God with their body. Oh God, I feel so sad. On two occasions, I tried to go somewhere else. I, I ended up getting so tired. Each time I pass through this route, I see my sisters and brothers in the quest to make money selling their bodies. And the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Heaven is real. Hell is real. Death is real. Just as living is real. How have you been managing your lifestyle since you came here? Those watching me online, how have you been managing your life? How have you been living your life? The life you're living is not yours. That life should propagate. That life should reflect God's word. Job was perfect. He was never distracted. He had a lot of challenges. God permitted a lot of things. But he remained undistracted. And right now he's in heaven. He made it. Can you ask yourself a question? After all this, will you be able to stay undistracted and remain and make heaven? Whenever the man of God talks, he says, some people are indulging in inflating rent. You get the rent of 500 dirham and you, you split it into, in, into making more than 3,000 dirham. And you think it's right? It's not right. It's not. Hallelujah. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. My popular, one of my popular scriptures, Psalm 34 verse 1. He says, I will bless the Lord at all time. For his praise shall do what? Continually be in my mouth. At all times. When, when, even when you don't have anything. Even when you have, don't have food to eat. Even when you don't have money to spend. Even if you don't have clothes to wear. Keep praising God. See, nothing annoys the devil like when you praise God in times of difficulty. I've tried it several, I'm telling you, and it works. Anytime you are joyful in the Holy Ghost, when you have nothing, I'm telling you, the devil will give way. In case you don't know, try it. Anytime you are in deep problem or in deep trouble, and you turn it around and begin to dance and give praises to God, I'm telling you, that thing that is like Father, well, that thing will come. If you want to put this to work, go home and, and try it out. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 and 18. I want us to have that on the, on the, on the audio visual. You, you'll be seeing it. Habakkuk 3. It says, although the fig tree shall not blossom. You can see it there because of our time. But yet in all these things, if you look at that 18. It says, I will do what? I will do what? Look at that 18. Can they see that 18? I will rejoice. Though everything is not working. Everything is not working. In 18, he said, but I will do what? Rejoice. Tap somebody beside you. said, nothing will stop me from, from praising God. Nothing. Nothing. 
the law of heaven is real hell is real death is real as much as living is real we have this in mind because let's have this in mind because we are constantly faced with things that will distract us from staying unprepared to make heaven no wonder the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 7 says give no place to the devil these things will come do you know that even, for, even Paul at a point in his ministry he was hindered from proceeding on his mission hello are you aware look at open the book of first Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 18 you will see that even Paul was hindered by distraction he was hindered so it's nothing new if you are passing through distraction if you are passing through difficulties passing through things that that should shift your face from serving God you are not the first and you will not be the last what makes us different is how we are able to stand still a lot of people started this journey with us but they are nowhere to be found and I decree by the power in the mighty name of Jesus you are watching me you've derailed you know that you are no longer in where you're supposed to be by the power in the mighty name of Jesus your restoration is now in the mighty name of Jesus when you are hungry stay undistracted when you are blessed stay undistracted there are people that when when they have when they are blessed with money with resources property materials they forget God when you are blessed do what stay undistracted that's not the time to stop to now join people who believe that there is no God otherwise God will come and then remind you that he is God because that thing that you have it is him that I've given it to you I, I, I don't know where I heard this I had one story of a, 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 a top guy in a church whose tight alone can cover everybody tight alone but when he was disciplined he was humbled enough to stay to, re, to retain his seat his suspicion seat he was he humbled himself despite the thousands of, of, of tight that he pays he has done what he has showed that the thing that he had is not his it is God that gave when you are without money stay undistracted when you are in trouble stay undistracted if you look at Psalm uh, Isaiah chapter 43 1 to 3 you will see the scripture to back up that place, that place when you feel you are alone so many of us we walked into this country because you don't have money to renew your visa you don't have money to pay rent or to eat or to wear good clothes or to do something you feel you are alone you are rejected there's nobody around you come on you are not alone i want i have come with this message the lord is telling me to tell you you are not alone be encouraged wherever you are whatever you are passing through you are not alone psalm chapter 145 verse 18 and 19 go with this scripture when you get home you feel you have been rejected your friends no longer call you your mother and your father they've stopped believing that you can make it your uncle they don't believe that you can make it don't worry everything will be fine very soon weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning nobody might believe that you will make it but believe that your creator still believes in you that is why he is loving kind he is so loving kind he still believes in you if nobody else believes in you god still believes in you when you are faced with sexual temptation stay undistracted plus run away please hello one of the best way to stay undistracted when you are faced with sexual temptation is run flee when you are trying to cast and bind it will not work because jacob that read the scripture more than us with all the scripture in his head he ran away imagine running to the center of leaving your clothes behind you know this way you run you remember your clothes no he left his clothes behind he ran as long as far as his, his, his leg can carry him if you are in an apartment and you are surrounded by ladies who intentionally provoke you with indecent dresses please do a do a, make an effort and prayerfully leave that place Kabashin and praying will not deliver you from it the time when it will come you won't know when it, when it happens stay distracted but add fleeing to it because there's nothing that pulls down a man like sexual like sexual sin i'm telling you nothing pulls down a man like sexual sin it can change your life catapult it when you are disciplined stay undistracted i want us to look at hebrews chapter 12 verse 8 i think that will be the last scripture i'll, I'll be taking hebrews chapter 12 verse 8 the reason why I, I, I want to lay emphasis on it is a lot of Christians have been 
they have been falling victim to this. Are we there? Can we read it together from the screen? I can't see it from here. Hebrew chapter 12 verse 8. Now, I want to bring out something. If you refuse discipline, you are invariably telling God that I'm not your legi legitimate child. Hello. If you refuse discipline, you are indirectly telling God that I am not your legitimate side child. I'm not supposed to be called yours. See, if I'm in a garden and I'm not disciplined, eh, I will know that I'm not loved. One of the things that separates the wheat from the chaff, I think that's what they call it, is discipline. If you want to know those who are yours, discipline them. Their reaction towards discipline tells if they are in or out. If you're the type that anytime you are disciplined, you take it personal and you take extra action of leaving that place or leaving the presence of God, then there's something wrong. Something wrong with your foundation, your spiritual foundation. As a child of God, you must be ready to be disciplined. In fact, enjoy discipline. Take it as part of life because it makes you grow. There's nobody that disciplines his child and his child remains stagnant. The parent in this, in this house, am I right? Am I right? Do you discipline your child and they remain the same? There must be change. Whenever you are disciplined, stay undistracted. Don't allow discipline make you lose the presence of God or make you leave the presence of God. It is for your good. You are a child here, your parent disciplined you back home or, or here and you took it out on them and you're no longer in communication with them. Go back to them. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 and 2. Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Honor your father and your mother that what? That it may be well with you. Number two, that you will have long life. If you want if you want it to be well with you and if you want to have longevity obey your parents no matter what you think about them as long as they give birth to you you have a duty to obey them stay undistracted when you are mocked for Christ's sake stay undistracted finally how to stay undistracted you must be saved and spirit filled all these things we are, we are talking about it because of our time it is for those who are saved you walked into this place. I don't know you. You don't know me. I don't know you so closely. I might know you by name or by facial recognition, but I don't know your life. I don't know. You. Only God knows you. Are you safe? You watching me on, on the on, on online. Are you saved? It's not about clicking or, or sharing or making comments. Are you born again? If you are not born again, now is the day of salvation. Now is the acceptable time. Do not postpone it. Tomorrow may be too late. Stay honest in the lost fellowship. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. I'm summarizing. Are you saved? Do you fellowship, in, in, do you fellowship at all honestly in spirit and in truth? Or are you fellowship just to, to, um, how do, to, to show off or to prove that, yes, I'm doing, uh, you can see I'm working. Stay joyful with a heart full of thanksgiving. What is it that is trying to reduce you or that is trying to stop you from thanking God today? This is the time to kick that distraction out. You have to kick it out. People, you saw, you saw people around you, they were dancing and jumping. And you remain moody. You were still, you were not shaking because your head was were full of no job, no visa, no rent. Come on, you have to kick those decisions out. Kick it out. Knock it off. Knock it off. It must not stop you from thanking God now. It has no capacity to stop you from praising God, from jumping up, from shouting to the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Nothing should stop you. Hallelujah. So I want to use this time to make this altar call. Because before we do the one, only one prayer point I want to do. If you are here and you are not born again, you are not saved. All eyes closed. It doesn't matter who is, who is behind you. Hello, it doesn't matter who is behind you. All eyes closed. You are not saved. You are not born again. You have not accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. 
you are not doing it for me. It's between you and your God. Wherever you are, just I want you to lay your hand on your chest or bring it up. You are not saved. You want to be born again. You want to know Jesus much more closely. Anyway, you are. Thank you. I want to see those hands up. I want to see those hands up. You want to give your life to Jesus? Thank you, brother. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my brother. I have two hands. More, please. Don't struggle with that voice. Don't struggle. Don't struggle. It's not a struggle. It's not a struggle. Join the others that are just lifted their hand. We have two brothers now. I need more hands. You want to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior because this is the first step from staying undistracted. Thank you, my sister. We have three now. God bless you. Thank you for this decision. It's a massive decision. It's a massive decision. Father, I want to thank you for this hand that I raise, raising up their hands to accept you as a Lord and Savior. Father, I ask for the power for the grace to remain steadfast in you and to remain undistracted. I cover them all with the blood of Jesus. I cover you all with the blood of Jesus. There's no going back. Forward ever, backward never. Thank you, ancient of this, for these souls. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Can we be on our feet? Just one prayer point. Can we all be on our feet with all due respect? Can we all be on our feet with all due respect? I want you to, we're going to pray this prayer with all our hearts. I'm going to pray this prayer with all our hearts. Hello, are you ready? Lay your hand on your chest, please, with all due respect. Say, my father, my father. I want you to make that prayer very serious. Say, my father, my father. From now onward, I made a, dedic a rededication not to be distracted anymore from serving you. Turn it to prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. It's a commitment you are making with God. It's a commitment you are making with God. Whether you shout or you pray silently, it's a commitment. It's like a covenant you are making with God. From now onward, I receive grace to remain undistracted as I serve you in this strange land. From now onward, from now onward, I ask for grace as I make this commitment not to be distracted anymore as I serve you in this land. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, ancient of the Father, we cover all this commitment with the blood of Jesus. We decree and we declare no going back. Amen. Forward ever. Amen. Thank you for your word that I've come forth. Thank you, Continue with us. Amen. In Jesus' name, we've prayed. Amen. You are blessed. Let's be seated in the presence of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Uh, before the Thanksgiving service, we're going to be taking a baby dedication from the family of OK. Baby Kiki Opet Midire will be doing the dedication now. And after that, we'll be having the general Thanksgiving. But before we do the dedication, please, let's stretch off our hands to our brother. Let's begin to decree upon his life. That the fire of God upon his life will shine brighter like never before from now on in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that every word he has spoken here this morning will not stand against him in the name of Jesus on the last day. You will not fall. You will not fail. God will uphold your family and your ministry. Whenever we hear of you, will be of good news. Whenever you speak, the heavens will recognize your voice and will be released of God's power like never before in the name of Jesus. We cover your life with the blood of Jesus. Father, rain down your fire like never before in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty and powerful name, we have prayed. So we call on the baby right now, choir, as we thank God like never before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We get him bigger every day. Amen. Aha. I have Jesus in my life. Living for his glory. I'm on fire every day. 
nothing can stop me, doesn't matter what I face. I am getting bigger every day. Every day I have Jesus. I have Jesus in my life. I'm living for His glory. I'm on fire every day. Nothing can stop me, nothing matter what I face. I am getting bigger every day. We get it bigger. Every yeah, day. we get it bigger. We get it bigger every day. Bigger every day. We get it bigger every day. Bigger every day. No limitations. We take it over. We get it bigger every day. We get it bigger, we bigger, get it bigger every day. Uh -huh. Bigger every day. We get it bigger every day. Bigger every day. No limitations. We get it bigger every day. Oh, we get it bigger. Get it bigger every day. Bigger every day. We get it bigger every day. Bigger every day. No limitation. We take it over. We get it bigger every day. Amen. Amen. Uh, sir, I don't know if it's my baby or your own. Because if we are dancing more than you, then it's like we are the one dedicating the baby. You know the way I do it, eh? Don't worry, the baby is safe here. Sir, you will go back. You will dance and come back, all right? So we are thankful for what God has done. There are people who had a pregnancy, they had miscarriage. Some people delivered and they died. And God gave you a child. Most especially in this country, you are dancing like this. Please, sir, go back again, madam. Please go back. Don't worry, you will start. Don't go too far, but just go back. You will dance again. Amen. Aha. Uh -huh. So choir, help them. Aha. Uh -huh. was looking at me. He wanted me to stop them <laughs> earlier and off. Hallelujah. Please, can you come forward, please? We're going to be speaking voice upon this baby. You know, there was a delay when Samuel was born. But the Bible said, when he was weaned, he heard from God. Your baby we hear from God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to speak life upon this baby. That the hand of God will rest upon this baby in the name of Jesus. Speak life upon the baby. That whenever we hear this baby will be of good news. That this baby, baby Kikiope will be a blessing to his father, yes. to his mother, yes. to his generation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Baby Kikiope tell me that it will be greater than his peers yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. That the glory of God will be made manifest upon Kikiope life in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
everything the parents needs to take care of this baby father release upon them in the name of Jesus the spirit of God will rest upon this baby whenever Kikiope wants to talk he will talk there will be no delay to developmental milestone in the name of Jesus when he needs to run Kikiope will run in the name of Jesus father be with him and upon him like never before in the name of Jesus we cover Kikiope with the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus will continually speak upon this baby in the name of Jesus you will be a battle ass in this generation in the name of Jesus whenever you speak you will speak fire you will speak life in the name of Jesus you will raise your parents up you will make your parents proud whenever your parents sees you they will be happy they will bless the day that you were born in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you will be greater than Samuel in the name of Jesus Thank you, faithful Father, for the reason not like you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We dedicate Kikiope Temideri Oke. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. In the name of God the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let somebody shout a big hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to the Thanksgiving properly. Now we want to give God thanks for the month of June. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of us are celebrating our birthday in this month of June? Is there anyone here? What? Oh, we have one. Hallelujah. We have two, three. Amen. So what of those of us who are celebrating our, our anniversary, marriage anniversary? Oh, we have, we have them here. Amen. So we'll be joining them and thanking God, even for us, thanking God for our family and everything he has been doing. But before that, we invite the children to come for their thanksgiving. The children, please. So, choir, please. Hallelujah. Grace and blessings, yeah. He's giving us his son, Emmanuel. Atonement for all our sins. A gift to set us all free. So let there be praise. want us to pray for the children they've acted drama today and they've had presentation let's decree upon your life that the hand of God will be upon them in the name of Jesus Amen. that the glory of God will be made manifest upon their lives Amen. that the devil will not have a hand upon their destiny Amen. upon their future Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. let's pray for the power of God upon them they will grow in stature and vigor to the glory of God's name in the name of Jesus Amen. that they will make their parents proud in the mighty name of Jesus. Whenever we hear of them, will be of glorious news. They will be the head in their school. They will not be the tail in the name of Jesus. They will be the first and not the last. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whenever they speak, the glory of God will be made manifest through their lips in the name of Jesus. The hand of God will rest mightily upon them in the name of Jesus. We cover your life with the blood of Jesus. You will not disappoint your parents. The devil will not use the drama against you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for you are awesome. 
For in Jesus' mighty and powerful name we have prayed. Amen. Grace and blessings. Can you please rise to your feet? He's giving us his son, Emmanuel. Atonement for all our sins. A gift to set us all free. So let there be praise. Let there be praise. With all of my heart, I will lift up my voice unto you. Everybody bend down low. Ho 
Jehovah Mita Jehovah Mita Jehovah Ope Jehovah Ope Jehovah Ochi Jehovah Ochi Oga Ope Ochi Oga Ope Ochi Oga Ope Ochi Oga Ope Ochi Eke Cha Jehovah Cha Jehovah Jehovah, Jehovah occupier, Jehovah Ebenezer, Jehovah my healer, Jehovah provider, Eke Cha Jehovah. Let's give 
give a clap of free to the Lord. Hallelujah. Peter saw this and he said, Lord, it is good for us to be here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just in a moment, let's close our eyes and decree upon this month that this month shall be fruitful to us. Just open your mouth, begin to pray that God, this month will be fruitful. This month will be fruitful unto me. This month will be fruitful unto me. The Bible says, as I hear you say, so I will do. This month will be fruitful. It's my month of fruitfulness. That my, my, my steps will be ordered by the Lord. My steps will be ordered by the Lord. As many that are led, the Bible says, that will be led by the Spirit. We shall not, we shall not walk in vain. We shall come back bringing in the sheep. We shall end this month fruitfully. Begin to pray. God, this month shall be fruitful unto me. It shall be fruitful unto my family. It shall be fruitful unto my family. Even as you do that, begin to give him thanks because it is done. Begin to give him thanks. Begin to give him thanks. Begin to give him thanks. Give him thanks. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory because it is settled. All that consigns us, we glorify you. Our life, we glorify you. All, oh God, about us, we glorify you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Just shout a better amen. amen. Briefly, please. Uh, for those who profess Jesus as the Lord and personal Savior today, after the word, please, I want to enjoin you. The counseling and the follow-up department, they'll be meeting with you. Uh, the Bible says in 1 Peter 2.2 2, that you desire the sincere make to grow thereby. And we'll be having the believers class with you where we'll be teaching you about the Bible. And one of the vision and mission of the redeemed Christian Church of God is to make heaven and to take as many as possible with us. So if you profess Jesus as your Lord, we enjoin you, please, they will meet with you and want you to start up with them. And believe me, you'll be glad you did. The men's meeting is postponed because of our time, and today is Thanksgiving service. Uh, we'll be having a meeting from next week, uh, which is our normal services. And again, in the month of June, uh, the Lord has instructed that we'll be teaching on the Holy Spirit. Last week, we had the leading of the Holy Spirit, and we'll be teaching about the walking of the Holy Spirit and the leading of the Holy Spirit part two, so that we can understand when we say, I am being led by the Spirit, and basically I am walking by the power of the Holy Spirit as a believer. So I want to encourage you, do not miss service for anything. And the Lord will always bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that you are blessed, look at your neighbor and shout a very glorious hallelujah. And somebody jam your hands for Jesus. Clap, 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 clap. Clap your hands for Jesus. I think today has been awesome, right? If I'm right, just clap, clap again, clap again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, uh, today uh, we are welcoming wonderful people in the house. So if today is your first time of joining us in the service, I would love you to be on your feet. Somebody clap, clap. Are you not happy? Clap, clap. I know. <laughs> Hallelujah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they clap, 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 clap. Hallelujah. <laughs> Please. Oh, man. It's, it's great to be in the house of the Lord. It's an awesome thing. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. Uh, this is the essence of the church. Yeah. The Bible said that daily numbers are added unto them at all too. Yeah. Every Friday, there must be a number added. Because it's, it's for the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Please kindly uh, respond to our team what they will demand from you. And uh, we appreciate you. We welcome you. We are happy that you are, you are here. And again, uh, fast track. Please, let's still remember that uh, on Sunday, because uh, only Friday we have service uh, physical. But within the week, we have many activities going on, but uh, it's online. 
Sunday we have what we call prayer intersection. We do it one hour. Really, it has been a, a platform that God has used to bless life and you know, this body has been shared. So, if you don't know our Facebook um, plat, plat, uh, platform, you can meet the media, they can help you with that. On Sunday from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, we are online praying seriously, you know, asking God to intervene in our world and in our life. So I would love everyone to be part of it on Sunday. On Monday again, we have a Bible study, which we do from 8 to 9 o'clock on the same page. God has been using it to bless so many lives. And we need to be blessed. Because every week you have to, you know, come into the presence of God and share from the table and we are blessed every day. Please, I will want you to be part of it on Monday. And also on Friday, we are back again here. Physical service. I think someone should clap for, for, for the Lord. For a year, a year, the COVID-19 tried to stop, but God showed himself mighty. So we're back again. So please, I would love you, if you're coming next week, bring one person to church. Hallelujah. Am I sounding good? Yeah, bring one person to church. So let's be on our feet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, I will, I, will, I will also advise if you're in the house, look for a department to serve. Yeah, don't just come and be a bench woman. It's a nice thing if you come, look for one, one person that you, you, you serve. All the glory must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of my The grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the spirit. Now, God, far from us, Lord, Amen. Surely. We shall follow us all the days of our life. I wish you all forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah.